Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Time to go ahead and take out this freaking antlion and get the desert pearl for Rosa so we can heal her so she can be cool again. Because she is tired and not happy. So, straight down this way, go to this fight. Bing bang boom boom baba dee dee, let's do this shit. For some reason, the Japanese are really obsessed with the concept of animals, like, causing magic jewels to happen. Like, drop into my. I'm way too obsessed with Dragon Ball Z knowledge, but. The story that Dragon Ball Z is initially based on is about a girl who gets... Oh, should have used my tent before I came in here. I didn't realize that Edward was so low. Alright. And he's dead. He's a he's dead. So, I was about to say. Um, in. Let me just talk about this fight first and then we can go into this random Dragon Ball Z knowledge and kind of drop on you. But basically, this guy has one of the classic counter systems. When his eyes are white, he is weak to. Well, he's not weak to, but he doesn't counter. He counters magic, but doesn't counter physical attacks. And when his eyes are red, he counters magic but doesn't counter physical. So his eyes are red right now. We're gonna have Cecil attack. And Brady is just going to defend. And then once his eyes switch again, we will have Cecil doing the. Ooh, almost got me, fucker. have Cecil do the healing and Radia do the attack. So just we'll keep our weaknesses lined up here. Right, one more heal on Edward and then we'll just be defending an attack. I hope he's not gonna switch right here. Yes. Alright. We should switch after this one. And this fight is just pretty much going back and forth between your physical attacks and your elemental attacks until he's dead. Nothing too too crazy here. I think he's gonna switch again real quick. There we go. And that gives Cecil a little chance to use darkness. And he's done, never mind. I, I, again, I'm, I'm a little high level for the area that we're in right now, so it's just kind of kicking the bad guy's ass, but it's fine, you know. Sometimes you like the underdog story, and sometimes you want to see the bad guy get his ass whooped, which he just did. Real good. Real, real good. Alright, so Edward's going to give us a little exposition here, basically just telling us about why it doesn't make sense that this, these bad guys who were normally chill are kind of hostile now. Something's going on. Somebody's up to no good. Alright. We get some dialogue here. Um, everybody kind of has their own little thing to say, but it's basically just... Uh, A little introspect into their thought process. Just basically, everybody's worried about Rosa, really, except for Edward. He's just whining like a little bitch. All right, no quick way to get out of here, so we just gotta go back. Um, I don't know. Do we have the emergency exit? I don't know if I can get that up. Ooh, doesn't look like it did. All right. Well then, that means we missed some treasure. So let's go back and find it. I'm all about treasure. Don't be skirting me on the treasure now. Ha! 
having the ice rod equipped to her and having that ice rod ability equipped to her just makes this area a freaking breeze. So, don't forget to do that like I did when I was with, uh, when I got the first ice, when you get the first ice rod with, uh, yeah, completed the, the map. Don't forget to do that like I did when I got the ice rod with Tella. Don't forget that. And here's that area where you save, and I bet this is the emergency exit. Nope, face down. But I could use a tent here if I wanted to, but I don't cook cook it. There it is! Yeah! And got the last treasure chest. Alright, let's bounce. Back outside. Boom. Get on my floaty guy. Cross the thingy do. Alright. Well, just wanted to finish up that boss real quick. I'm in another situation where I need to put this video up. So, um, quick little boss battle. Uh, I got a bonus video for you that should be coming out Saturday. So, hopefully, that happens. Um, I'm out of town for a couple of days here, so if you send me anything from in comments or anything, I may not be able to respond, but I will be back on Monday, and I will respond to anything, so, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Poopoino, out!